Ce matin du 9 août 45, une bombe de 4 tonnes et demie est larguée sur Nagasaki. Mais la vraie cible des Américains était Kodura. Or, la ville voisine était cachée par une couche nuageuse. Le pilote, qui voyait ses réserves de carburant s'amenuiser, s'apprêtait à faire demi-tour quand les nuages se sont dissipés sur Nagasaki. Was over Hiroshima carrying an atomic bomb. At 8.15 in the morning of August 6, Japanese time, the first atomic bomb hit an enemy target. The bomb was aimed to explode above zero. The devastation speaks for itself. But in these very ruins, army cameramen have found and filmed pictorial evidence that tells in twisted steel and stone the effect of death-dealing atomic power. For example, this was the site of the main Japanese military headquarters. There were approximately 20,000 Japanese military personnel stationed here. They are among the missing. Within an area of a mile to a mile and a half, this type of building was the only type to withstand complete demolition and destruction. Here's a building that was actually knocked sidewise, giving you an idea of the force of the what's left of the commercial music. Nagasaki was selected to become target city number two. Exactly three days after Hiroshima, a B-29 set out for Nagasaki. At 10.58, the morning of August 9th, the bomb was exploded above the city and in the towering mushroom, Japan could read its doom. This was more than a routine bombing. It was the funeral pyre of an aggressor nation. The bomb had been purposely exploded high so that the greatest part of its radioactive material was dissipated in the stratosphere. From the air, the skeletons of the Mitsubishi plants made evident that Nagasaki's war-making power was totally destroyed. Closer examination of the ruins shows the same complete destruction that characterized the ruins of Hiroshima. Damage to equipment and machinery used in the manufacture of naval rifles, AA guns and heavy artillery was such that even if Japan had determined to commit suicide by continuing resistance, she could not have salvaged much from the ruins. Smokestacks bent but did not break before the blast. And roads were...